Hey, don't you read, Kate. Is the coast clear? I'm starving. Is Jennifer chewing? I don't see anything. Aha! Jennifer! You got grub? Whoa, that was fantastic! Have an empty Pringles can? Outline a cutout like this. Then cut it out with a blade. Be sure to disguise the can. Now it'll look like a pencil tin. Once that's done, fill it up with a snack. Nice choice! Still have the lid? Cut off its ridge and drop it in. This way your pencils can sit on top. Pretty brilliant, right? Tummy feel better now, Kate? Perfect. Sometimes you need a little brain food to help you get through a lecture. But chips may not be the healthiest choice. Ugh, good. Uh-oh. Your loud crunching gave you away, Mia. If you've got the midday crunchies, you've gotta learn how to be a secret snacker. Stick a pen or pencil through the side of the bag. Now balance it between you and your neighbor's desks. Is it just me or do they actually taste better this way? Uh-oh. Teacher spotted at 10 o'clock. And when it's time to hide, push the bag on the back and put your notebook over it. Oh, hello. Nothing to see here, just listening to the riveting science lecture. Can't imagine going through a full day without your favorite bubblegum? Then you probably already know that chomping on this stuff during class can be super tricky. Yes, my favorite flavor! One, two, three, blow! Gah! Jeez, Lily, you really startled me. And if you give me a piece of your gum, all will be forgiven. Kevin! You can't just steal my gum like that! If you're in need of a gum disguise, the answer might be right under your nose. If you have a boxy highlighter lying around, grab a blade and cut off its plastic tip. Next, snag some hot glue and put it onto the tip you just cut. Now stick it onto the end of your favorite pack of gum. If you can print the highlighter's logo onto the corresponding color, you've got yourself a secret gum dispenser. No one will ever know that while you're highlighting your important notes, you're also indulging in bubble gum. We'll just keep it our little secret, okay? Hey, Lily, are you chewing gum? Where is it, though? I don't see any on your desk. That's because it's all stashed in her highlighter. Sorry, Kevin. What he doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Hey! Care to share? Oh my gosh. Adam's staring at me. Uh, hi. See you, Kate. What? You wanna share my snack, Adam? She's wasting my candy on that guy? Huh? Actually, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. You can put candy right in the brush. They fit perfectly under the bristles. Now when you have a sugar hankerin, simply brush your hair. Whatever. Man, all this test taking really makes me work up an appetite. Aha! A little sugar jolt is exactly what I need right now. Which one should I eat first? Huh? Ugh, fine, you can have them back. Ugh, I don't think I can wait till lunch to eat. Behold! More delicious chocolate! <gasps> Jeez, what's a girl gotta do to get a moment alone with a sweet treat around here? Wait a minute. I know exactly what I should do. Put one of your binders onto your desk and open the metal rings. Take a clear sleeve and assemble it onto the rings. Poke it through if you have to. Now stash your favorite treats into the clear sleeve. Now you have your very own secret stash. Is the coast clear? Time to indulge in a secret snack. 
Nothing to see here, people. Um, shouldn't you guys be focusing on your work? Way to play it cool, Lily. Time to reward yourself for a job well done. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I'm hungry. Hey, Kevin, let me have a piece of candy from your secret stash. Nope, not today, sorry. You're so stingy. Give me that. Come to mama, my sweet sour candy. Show me how you did this. Well, it all started when I saw a giant bowl of candy. Whoa, have I died and gone to sugar heaven? Take a sour strip like this one and cut it down the middle on a slant. On the side with a flat edge, place a little hole. Once you put it aside, get a retractable blade like this one and remove the bottom. Once you do that, the blade piece should slide right out. Then you replace the blade with the sour strap you got earlier. Once it's all the way in, secure the bottom piece back on. Now, instead of a retractable blade, it's retractable candy. Hey, you know what I'm thinking? It's battle time! Candiosis sugary tosis. Hey, what does all that gibberish mean? Ha! Uh, your magic wand is no match for my lightsaber. Oh man. But lucky for me, I've got one of those too. Wait, Kevin, are you okay? Just kidding. Booyah! Okay guys, this fight is getting a little out of hand, don't you think? Yep, see? You even got the teacher's attention. Now cut it out. Whoopsies. All that sugar must have gone to our heads. So, what's a little more, right? Oh yeah. Totally worth it. Okay, Columbus had three ships. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Whoa, Nelly. Was that me? Shh. Lunch isn't for another two hours. Ugh, so embarrassing. Good thing I have an emergency snack stash. I hope I get a red one. Those are my fave. Oh! No snacking in my classroom, young lady. It'll have to wait till lunch. Okay, okay, I'm putting it away. All right, I can totally make it to lunch. I just have to focus. Mm, my second thought. Whoa, I still have a glue stick in here? Something tells me Vicky has another brilliant idea. If you have to hide snacks in class, use an empty glue stick case. The most important part? Take out the glue. You don't want to eat that. Don't forget the bottom piece. Make sure to rinse out the glue casing to get any lingering chemicals out of there. Now comes the fun part. Take some of your favorite candy, like these gummies here, out in a stack to stick in the tube. Now watch as they slide right in there. Perfect fit! When lunch is a couple classes away, nothing tastes better than a sneaky snack. It's just glue. Nothing to see here. You know, glue, gummy snacks, same thing. You'd better too fast, Vic. You're late, young lady. And you have a drink, which isn't allowed. Oh man, I just bought this! Hey, teach, sorry I'm late. Those hallways get a little hard to navigate sometimes. All right, move it along. Oh man, my throat is so dry. I really could have used that orange juice. Say, do you have a drink I could take a swig of? Whoa, Lily, why are you drooling all of a sudden? Hello? Anybody home? Sometimes when you want something bad enough, you'll start to see it. But as it turns out, Kevin knows exactly how to sneak a drink into class. To do this hack, take a plastic phone case and remove it from your phone. Once it's facing up on a plastic bag, take a sharpie and outline it onto the plastic. Once you've done that, remove the phone case for now and cut along your outline with a pair of scissors. Now you should be left with two pieces, see? Next, take a strip of wax paper and place it over the corresponding edges of your pieces before pressing a hot flat iron on it. Do this to three out of the four sides of the plastic. You should have what looks like a little plastic pouch. Now take a lid from a juice box like this one and put glue around its base. Before it has time to dry, place it into the small opening of that pouch so it serves as a little spout. Next, take your favorite drink and pour it into the pouch, filling it up most of the way. Don't forget to put the cap back on. Lastly, go ahead and put hot glue on the outer side of the phone case. 
Now stick the pouch right onto the hot glue. Once it's dry, stick your phone back into the case and enjoy your juice from your sneaky little hiding place. Need a sip, Lily? Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was dying. And if your teacher wanders on by, don't worry, you're totally covered. Yes, that thing is foolproof. All right, it's Monday morning. And time to get to work. Ugh, what is that taste in my mouth? Perhaps chowing down on the second helping of garlic chicken last night wasn't the best idea. Looks like a fresh mint is just what the doctor ordered. Whoa! If you share an office with a bunch of mint moochers like Mia here, you know the pain of having to share your stuff. If only there was a way to keep your mints out of plain sight so no one could steal them from you anymore. Snag an old container like this one and put your mints or gum in there. Next, put the container underneath the plant right there in the pot. Great, that fits perfectly. Put that sucker right back onto your desk and no one will ever know your precious mint stash is hiding in there. In fact, those are so well hidden you may forget they're even hiding in there yourself. But in the meantime, you can enjoy fresh, garlic-free breath any time of the day, moocher-free. Ah, that's so much better.